Hello folks, while well, everybody's freaking out over at DC, got my teacup, we're going to talk the real stuff's going to happen in 2021. I did a little run through with uh, Dad on YouTube stuff. I did warn people. And nobody ever listens. Hubble's cat's freaking out. You should take your own tranks, Hubble's cat. Now, a lot of people don't understand. Oh, wow, I'm ahead of the curb, and a lot of you don't understand. Okay, I have a few militia friends, and I told them, put away your stuff, get your rifles, go to the range, practice from 300 to 500 yards, better be a 30 caliber, and bring back your target so I can look at them. And I look at them, and I slap everybody's back of the head. Okay, I tell them got to get in within a quarter or 50 cents piece back in range reload and practice god bunch of idiots you want to do this right you listen to old uncle al and stop the damn aliens first thing blockade dc if you're a union truck driver you tell your boss that you're not going to deliver goods to dc forget it you're not going into dc two reasons they're going to lose a truck and you might get shot. All right. We are not the yahoos that went into the Capitol and do all sorts of stupid stuff and psych ops and theatrics because I recognize a few of the Antifa and then a few three letter guys. Uh, not our guys, but let's say they're Chinese, North Korean, Russian, Albanian, and I think. Pakistani, there's a quite a few groups in the capital that was running around saying, we're a patriot, baloney. Remain calm, listen to Uncle Al, don't panic. Okay, now this is here. It's going to be listed down below in the description. Shortages for 2021. And be sure to check on... Camp Patton's family compound live stream on Friday. We're going to tell you what is enough. Now, I'm telling people one year supply. And a lot of you don't understand what I'm talking about. Uncle Alan's been doing this for God know how long a time. And I lost my storage units, my, my prepared materials, all got burned away. So I'm repeating myself, okay? And I will do a video for old school prepper, Martha. Martha, go see uh, Palmetto Prepare um, video, uh, the end of something. I think it's the end of world nutrition or end of something like that, okay? A lot of you guys are fixated on calorie count. I got to find that little book. The British did it in World War II, and they explained very good what's going on. You're going to eat a lot of vegetables. You're going to eat a lot of carbohydrates. You're going to eat a lot of fats. Meat, on the other hand, is going to go down. Okay? So Hubble's cat's dancing in the streets. I don't know why, but he likes to do that. All right. Now, here are the shortages. You guys voted Democrat, and somebody gave me a dislike, so this is on your head because you gave a dislike on the last video, and I told the truth about Georgia, and you're going to pay the price for it, okay? Beer shortage. This is not regional. This is the whole damn nation. Because the Democrats and their whacked out policies on tweeting phase one, they're going to be a massive beer shortage around March. Okay, this will last until next year, about May of 2022. So enjoy your beer unless you know how to homebrew it. And you can see L.A. Pepper is driving around Los Angeles. I need a beer. I need a beer. Well, you got to wait a year. Okay, two. Second biggest shortage coming up, because 
they're everybody's pressuring them and they're shrinking the can smaller i noticed things that the average person are totally oblivious to big aluminum shortage china screwed that one up and get china on the recycling things they bought all the recycling plants and they screwed up the recycling of aluminum at one point we were recycling 80 to 80 80 to 95 percent of all our aluminum and that kept the balance that we didn't have to mine it we didn't have to disturb the environment but what china did was stole all the aluminum okay you can smoke that in your dumb pipe okay so we do not have the stocks now i hear people well i hear the plants are one day you're going to hear those plants go Eek! and there won't be any cans but we have bottles uh didn't i say china screwed up the recycling system unless you got a bucket i got a bucket of beer and it went bad yeah because you can't keep beer in a bucket lord people are stupid okay next problem is big shortage starting in may they're going to be a shortage of soda all okay? right in cans in bottles they're going to be a big shortages you can see in some areas the price went up about two dollars and some areas their selection of slow sodas are getting smaller and smaller and smaller so your little kids like okay because there's no soda left you're out of luck kids 2021 is a year of shortages okay now there will be some sodas in certain areas if you are east of the mississippi you're screwed everybody on the west you're okay until probably october okay the biggest problem is a gas problem not automobile that because a lot of people are stupid not goes into your car gas for industrial purposes like carbon dioxide oxygen oxygen also for hospitals a lot of people don't understand it but car carbonation needs carbon dioxide there's a big shortage on that on the health issues on oxygen you better get your oxygen bottle there is now a run on it okay in 37 states from last remembering right that's from apple news people are running to get oxygen bottles portable ones and i know will is already filling up his because any second now you're not going to get oxygen then you drown in your own juices two for michelle real life and michelle and rob get a cpac machine that attaches with your oxygen this is a side effect of one of the viruses number one of the red dragon okay uncle Alan's head of the curve we have the second well mutation 128 red dragon on steroids which is going to kill more or less half the population okay they're going to try the magic bullet trick yeah we'll stick you with this one and that one and this one and that one and this one fail okay you see my uh trailer i keep telling people this will happen because uh, you're all dirty bastards now japan has it and they're treating it calmly and coolly and collectively they didn't do all that everybody's wearing a mask they know what they're doing and they're finding people for spitting for nose rockets for not washing their hands not wiping their ass they are serious you will get two years if you like i'm a westerner i don't need a mask what do you mean i'm in solitary in prison for the next two years shut up we haven't sent you to trial yet japanese ain't kidding they're serious about this folks okay oxygen shortage you know canned soup shortage they have the cans because it's steel only problem is a lot of the canned soup is going to be go by there's already certain shelves of condensed soup are gone there is the similarities of certain soups basically it's either with a chicken broth or chicken broth or plant broth that's not a problem 
Tomato soup, not a problem. Every kind else that has dairy or meat or vegetables, kiss them goodbye. All right? Because I'm talking to one of my friends. There is a big production problem. Also transportation. So if you're living on east <laughs> of the Mississippi, you're screwed. We're talking screwed big time. Okay? So kiss canned soup goodbye. The weird one is, um, is canned corn. Because also frozen corn, there's a big shortage because we did not get the plant properly last year. So there's a big shortage of corn, canned corn. And also the Chinese have been buying everything they could grab. Remember I told you looting of America? Well, that's one of them. Okay, again, starting this spring around April, we're going to have a yeast shortage. Again in April, a flour shortage. What got me, and I told this to uh, Gil, we're going to have a spam shortage because Smithfield and a few Chinese-owned pig producers and buyers, they're cleaning out the lot because China's agricultural industry went to hell. Okay? Um, so, kiss spam goodbye. If you see spam, buy it now. Last time I picked it up, it cost me two something a can. Luncheon meat, spam meat, corned beef. Buy it now, you'll never see it again. That was my other thing uh, next to the spam shortage. Canned meat shortage. Okay, seed shortage. This is the big one for all you gardening types and who listens to eight seeds. You can plant stuff out there and grow food. Uh, you don't have gardening supplies. You don't have seeds. You don't have plants. You don't have trees. Eat compost. I tell to each season all the vegan nuts out there. Sorry, Howie, a food forest production. You live in a certain area of the world, which is a semi-tropical temperate forest. So you got food out there. Everybody else, it's like me, Uncle Al. I live in a bloody desert. All right? It's tough out here. You see a tumbleweed roll by and you see six or seven coyotes chasing after it for food. You got to wake up. Nobody lives in your area. That's a fantasy land. Little fancy fairy land. Okay? Once you get away and you go to the real world down to the lower 48s and you see what kind of hell we got, it's going to be bad. Now, luckily, uh, WD and Martha are living in that, live just at the outskirts of that fairy zone. Okay? A lot of you don't understand. I do, and you're going to see a lot of trouble. So you think you could garden your way out of starvation? Think again. Think like Zimbabwe. Okay? So there's going to be a massive seed, shor seed, bleh, seed shortage and garden supply shortage. So if you haven't bought your stuff now, kiss your ass goodbye. Okay? Fresh beef and fresh poultry, also a shortage. All meats are going like, when's the last time you've seen a roast? What roast? Ah, I got a roast. Here, it's, let me pull it out of my uh, jacket. It's a great roast. What kind of meat is it, Uncle Al? It's brown. Eat it. Okay, it's either horse meat or long pig. So your choice and like, Uncle Alan, that roast was pretty good. Had a tattoo, says Mom. Okay. Certain snack foods, if you look at right now, go to the grocery store, look at it, and you go look at the shelves, they're like, okay, there's empty spaces. Or you go into the snack food aisles, and cookie aisles, or snack chip aisles, and you see massive empty spots that are being filled in with the same stuff over and over again. Okay? So kiss your favorite snack food items goodbye. It's going to be a year-long shortage. It's going to start slow and go one by one. Sorry this takes so long, but these are the shortages you have to learn. And it'll be listed down below. And I'll catch you folks later.